Okay, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the today's clan war between pro and non clan. So it is pro clan versus non esports. Um, I think. Let me check that shortly. Um, seems to be a best of seven all kill master and grandmaster league player. So uh, yeah, let's. Let's see. Let's see this. Okay. So currently I'm just waiting for the first game. Just waiting there. Bum, 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 bum. And then... Okay, it looks like we are first of all sorting out the maps we are gonna play. And yeah, that should be... I think that should be good. So, as soon as I know everything, I will let you know if there is anything wrong with the stream or something else, just let me know in the chat. I will try to check as often as possible. I only have one computer screen so far, so it will take me some time. But I will try to check as often as possible, just in case. And then we will see. So I hope, because I haven't streamed for quite some time, I hope I don't mess up everything like the sound or the, the screen. That would be very bad. <coughs> okay. So we are still vetoing the map. Let's let's check this shortly. We have Brian Terraces, I think. Larry Lacrest. Um Shipyard. So orbital shipyard I guess it is. Arena. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It looks like we're just playing an orbital shipyard and begin the first game already. Okay. Yeah, I'm still waiting for them to start the game. There's nothing more than I can do. Sadly, for in, in the last couple of times, there were a lot of tournaments like SPL is going on again and all the WCS uh, circuits as well but I haven't really watched them which is quite sad I didn't find the time to do that which is really bothering me because yeah I think they should be I think most of the games are awesome at least the SPL games Pro League is so good it's really awesome um, Okay, wait a second. Well, okay, whatever they want to do. <laughs> it looks like I'm not a referee, and it looks like the game privacy will stick on normal instead of no build order, but whatever. Whatever, so I will switch on to the in-game section. There we go. You should be able to see everything. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, it's a bit laggy over here. Okay. So let's see. First of all, we have a best of seven. Where can I set up this? Uh, give me a second. Okay, I really don't know. So let me check that later. Let's begin. We have spawning in the 
top, no, bottom left position of Orbital Shipyard, playing for non esports, it is the Orange Zerg Duke. And he is playing against the Yellow Terran, playing for the Pro Clan, spawning in the right top position of Orbital Shipyard, it is Raylight. Very nice, very nice, I do like that. So there is some way how I can set up the best of one or best of... Ah, there we go! Ah! Okay, so it is a best of seven. There we go. Duke is APM spamming like a madman. Up to six, 600 APM. That's quite a lot. Okay. So we do have hatch into gas into pool, which is quite normal, I would say. And for Raylight, we do have the barracks into the refinery and the Reaper, of course. So it looks like he's going to expand as well. So that's standard, I think. <coughs> Overlords are on the way as well, spreading out. So with the Reaper, he might be able to spot the pathing of the Overlords. So if he decides to produce a marine after that, which is quite common, I think, he could be able to intercept that, but he's going for the reactor instead, which is also fine. Uh, he's grabbing a second refinery, very interesting choice, so it could be for tank drops or anything like that. Maybe Banji play, it's a bit unusual, I think, because it's before the factory, but okay. And we have for Duke, as it looks like a third hatchery, ooh, close one, but it's Immediately spotted by that Reaper. Okay. That Reaper attacking some of those circlings. Okay. I really do wonder, let me check shortly why the music is that loud. Is it common? I don't know. I don't know. So. Uh, I didn't? Yeah, I did. I did put the game. You should. Okay, May. Wow. So the score should be 0 0. Um, but, of course, best of 7. Okay, so the Reaper a bit inactive here, which is totally okay. Uh, he could be more active with it, that's nice. But, well, what's that? Okay, I get really confused over here. Sorry for that. Um, we have speed on the way for Duke. So, yeah, a lot of circlings, actually. Eight in total. That's quite a lot. Eight is really a huge number. Uh, good kiting. Wow, so many kills for the Reaper. Okay. That's a very good Reaper. A very good Reaper. And back at home, we have the factory ready. Starport, a third command center. Um, yeah, that's that's looking really, really good here. I have to say, really good so far for Raylight. Let's see how much damage she can deal with the drop. So it's, it's, it can be a one vitamin six marine drop or a two vitamin four marine drop. Maybe he goes straight in, just attack and poke. Could be this uh, as well. We do have a hatchery here and double gas for Duke. So he's going for tag. Could be. Eh, not, I don't think it's Mutalix. I mean, we have three, uh, three extractors only, so maybe uh, Mutaling Bane later on, or anything like that. Could be the case here. Ooh, very interesting positioning. After the game I will shortly check for the music and the uh, in-game sound, because I think that's not really good. But let me know. Oh, the bit of mine, mm, targeting the Overlord, not the best one. Nice focus fire on the medevac, needs to get out there immediately. Bit of mine gets a shot of not killing a queen, just damaging it. Reaper hops, hops down, uh, up and, uh, oops. Well, a lot of circlings for, for Duke, and it looks like he's sneaking around, but I do like that drop. All the queens went down to defend, so he's not only, um, oh, oh, the drones. Attacking with the drones isn't really a smart decision. He will get the medivac, that's nice, but maybe losing a queen himself? Mm, yeah, and he's also missing injects. Very nice transfuse, he cleans it, but 
Not before taking quite some damage. And those Zerglings, ah, they can't, they can't enter. They are Marines in position. If he would have had a Baneling Nest, then definitely he got the gas. He could do so much damage. Imagine Duke going for a Baneling Nest. Uh, but for now he's blocking. Uh, so now looking up here the ramp, losing one or two Zerglings. <coughs> Not much happening uh, for Duke here. He needs. First of all, to saturate his main base again, so he needs to draw up 12 drones in production. There's the bailing nest. A bit late though. Um, would have been very good if the bailing nest was earlier thrown down, but yeah, it's he's denying the third base uh, while he's drawing up back at uh, home, which is which is okay. Uh, I think that's a good move. And if you can delay this this orbital, it, it not only don't you mine, but you're banking up energy instead of m using the mules, you don't produce SCVs. It's, it's quite a setback, I would say, for, for Raylight here. 1-1, uh, let's have a look at that. Already finished, and no evil chamber so far for Duke. Okay, he needs those. He's getting a macro hatchery, and I do like that. If you are not confident enough or good enough with the injects, then you can need that. And you should use it, because it's good, gives you more larva. Uh, the Banji killing 6, you, what, wow, 20 drones killed in total. He's losing the Banji, but he killed a lot of drones so far in this game. And you can see it, he's up so many worker, like almost 20, which is a lot. Uh, the Banji, not spotting the circlings, barely, barely out of range. But it's okay. So Stim is on the way, Combat is ready, 2-2 two -two is there. Uh, on the way as well. Duke getting a fourth base, but I wonder, he, he needs more drones and more army, but he can't afford it. He, ah, so many, so many minerals banked up for Duke. Yeah, you can see it on the queens, the energy on the queens. Also, the creep spread almost non existent, so Duke is falling apart here. He sees the banjo on the minimap, but that move out is very. Ooh. Okay, there are no medivacs with it, but still, that's. That's difficult. That's very, very difficult here. Ah, oh, the Benji taking damage here. Nice save. And he loses the Benji, but there is the huge attack. Stim is ready. He is pressing forward, going back to the Widowmine. Oh, the circling's nice around, but it's not enough. Widowmine's taking a lot of circling's out there. <coughs> and now he got the defender's advantage, really, here. Is pressing forward with the Marines. There's nothing to contest. It's force of Marines. Only 16 of them with 1 1 still in combat shields. But it looks like it's enough. The circlings are coming out. Oh, very good positioning for Raylight here. And I think he can. Uh, maybe he can clear it. Oh, no, he loses the he loses the Marines. Okay, so. Oh, but more and more. There are no medivacs with it. And more Marines. And the Vitamines are recharging. Oh my goodness! A very huge hit there, and uh, Duke is so far behind in army supply, uh, I don't think that he can hold any longer. It's not looking good, he might lose the hatchery here, loses the queen, loses the hatchery, and potentially all the drones here, 8 in total. He can't go down, there are only 2 uh, banelings, okay, he cleans up the Vidomines, which is nice. Oh, the Vidomines recharging here again. The bio is enough, the drop here killing that hatchery, and I think, I think that might be it. 100 supply difference between those two players now, and I think Duke will GG out very soon. He's holding on as best as he can with the transfuses, but I feel like it's just not enough. Planting down a creep tumor where the hatchery was. Very interesting decision. Uh, they took a look at the queen. <laughs> Doesn't... <laughs> Their healing power from those medivacs is so st so strong. And stim to win, baby, stim to win. A scan goes down, just in case of creep tumors or bird banelings. The macro hatch will fall there as well. And this spine crawler won't be enough to Duke to win him the game. Bailing nest gets targeted down. Look at the yellow stream of units mo moving across the map. That's that's just too much. Oh, there we go, GG.
interestingly, now the music is uh, more quiet. Huh, I don't know, maybe maybe in-game the music is differently, I don't know, it seems to be fine. But, well... <sighs> okay, so... Pro Clan wins game number one, but that doesn't mean that NON is out yet. I mean, that was a Diamond versus a Master League player. Maybe they just wanted to test the water. Like me. And yeah. I maybe I should switch to the webcam again. I think that's nice. There we go. Okay. Good! Welcome everybody to my stream and to today's clan war between Pro and NON. Currently Pro Clan leads with 1 to 0. Yeah, just give me a second. Okay, so as the music seems to be okay now, um, I will check it in the second game, which is coming soon. So when in the second game the music is also super loud, then I just turn down the music a bit. And that's it. And we will see how that works. I mean, I don't know. We will see. Alright, so just waiting for the next game. So, Anna needs to select the next player, and then I think we need to choose the next map as well. So let's let's just wait for it to them to do exactly that. And yeah, uh, I did like uh, Raylight's play there. I'm not quite sure about his build order, but it was his macro was quite good, I would say. And of course the drop and the banshees, they did so much damage. I don't know why uh, Duke banked up so many minerals. But, mm, yeah, difficult situation, difficult. Sometimes you just start from behind, can happen. I will check Duke's profile shortly, just to know. He is rank 48 diamond. Mm, yeah, with 100 and 31 games so far played in the season, of course. While on the other hand, Raylight is a rank 6 Master League Terran with 129 games played this season. Interesting. He only got 441 wins on this. Maybe it's a new, <laughs> a new account, but I don't know. <coughs> I'm not quite sure. But, yeah. Uh -huh, still waiting for them. Okay, good, so, okay, there is, I know it needs a second, they are still sorting out which player they will choose next. Okay. I'm just chatting with my people currently. But oh well. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. I can't do anything here. Um, I just can sit here and wait for them to pick the next guy. <coughs> but yeah. Where do we go? Okay, so they weren't able to invite the player into the group we created for this clan war. But we will just invite him to the map instead and then play it out like normal. That's totally fine. Okay, uh, should be nice, should be nice. I really wonder who will be next versus Raylight. So he chooses Dusk Tower, Dusk Towers. Oh! Okay, now they are... <laughs> okay, okay, so we do have... Oh, wow. Okay, so it seems to be NON Black, non black, who is an Archon Grandmaster and a 1v1 Grandmaster Zerg. Currently rank 173, but still, Grandmaster League. Awesome. So I'm ready, Black is ready, Raylight is ready, another TVC on the way, and this time, ooh, <coughs> should be a very good one. Um, excuse me because of the coughing, I'm a bit sick. Yeah, can't do much about that. So we are in the loading screen, there you go. And as you can see, Grandmaster League versus Master League but they are quite evenly matched, I would say. Rank 6 Master versus Rank 173 Grandmaster should be quite equal uh, in terms of skill. I would give Black a slight edge, but only because I don't know both players, which is quite a shame. Okay. Good! We have spawning in the top right position of Dusk Towers, the Yellow Terran playing for the Pro Clan. It is Raylight. Uh, two German boys here, battling it out. He is playing against the Green Zerg spawning the left bottom position of Dusk Towers, playing for non-esports. It is black! So the Overlords are on the way already. And I do like that. The drone moving down here to the third base in order to, to, to be the natural. So that is good because you can later on take the third base safely. And it's really good. So I don't know why, but the music is really loud. Let's do it like that. And later on after the stream I will change it back. So that will be fine. Okay, refinery already done. Gas being mined. And they are talking a lot, they should concentrate, guys! This is real clan war, please, concentrate on the map and on the game. Come on, that's serious business, for the honor of your clans. You can chat after that. But yeah, command sent on the way for Raylight, which is nice. And supply depot, one reaper, I don't think we will see a marine again. So, uh, oh, there's the Marine. Okay, this time Marine after Reaper, which is more common, I would say. At least I'm used to see that, because then you get the factory, after that the reactor, everything is fine and just, yeah, it, it, it fits better together, I would say. It's more smooth in the build order, most likely. Would be a difference if you choose to go tank drop, then you don't need the reactor necessarily but yeah Reaper joins there 
just dealing some damage. He's unlikely to get a drunken. Oh, he gets one. Very nice micro. I do like that. And he might get a circling here as well. I really do like the Reaper control out of Raylight. But he needs to be very careful. The queen is here. And god, this mama. Mama queen is pissed, man. Because Zerg lost a drone and a circling already. Not very pleased with that result. But yeah, Black just get more queens and drones. While it looks like Raylight is going for Stim. Probably. Probably. We will see. We will see. So if there are any lags while this stream is going on, I'm very sorry. We got very bad internet currently. We are switching the provider at some point, but that will take months, I, I think. So um, there are issues sometimes where we only get a download rate of 3,000 3, instead of 30,000, which is very bad. So can't do much about that. If your provider pisses you off, then that's just happening. But we do have a Roach one here. Um, so most likely we will see Roach Ravager, maybe later on Lurker, or uh, Roach Ravager into uh, Infestor, and then finally Ultralisk or Brutelord. Ah, careful! You might lose the... Ooh, that was very close with the Hellion. Very close. Two additional barracks, and a command center finishing here as well. Which is good. Ooh, he loses the Hellion. He, of course, with the Overlord he saw it and he knew he can snipe it and then go back to the creep. Which is very good. He's droning up so heavily. Ten drones. And you can see, when they pop, which will be the case right now, he's ahead like yeah, ten workers or so. That's, that's good. Very interesting choice to go and land the command center before morphing it into an orbital. Normally, you only see that happening when you have worker already to transfer down here. In this case, I think that wasn't the right decision. You should have gone for the orbital command first, in my opinion. But, well, I can be wrong as well. We do have a Banshee with Cloak out as well. Okay, so Cloak is ready, but only one Banshee. And I don't know if that's really good to have just one Banshee and then... I mean, you got one upgrade only for one unit currently, and that's... Uh, oh no, wait, there's a second Benji. I'm dumb. Excuse me. Now it all makes sense. I was talking too much about my internet connection and my provider. That's... Yeah, that definitely cuts in. So we do have an evil chamber here. Only one currently, because the other one is... Oh, he's separating them. No, not really. Okay. God, where are the Benjis? They are grouping up. They could... Maybe snipe one of two creep tumors, which is nice, but burning a scan for that, I'm not quite sure if that's the way to go. Uh, Rayleigh definitely a bit worried here. He's respecting his opponent. There are two bunkers. He know he got uh, a bit of a weak mid game, as it looks like, against Zerg with his opening. So, yeah. Ooh, that's, that's quite something. Ah, gets a drone! Very nice, but needs to get out of here. Um, so what I will do is, I will shut down Firefox now, so I won't be able to see the chat. I'm trying to free as much capacity as possible to make the stream as lag-free as possible. I don't know how that works out. I, I really don't know. I just got shitty internet um, currently. Normally it's fine, but I, I can't do anything about that. I'm really, really sorry. If you don't like it with that lag, I will later on upload this clan war on my YouTube channel and you can watch it then without any lags. At least I hope so. So that should be fine as well. I'm really sorry for that. 1-1 uh, will finish now for Black. While well, 1-1 one one already is finished for Raylight, he gets an Overlord, which is... Nice. Two changelings here. I don't know what they are supposed to do. I have no idea. Okay, so there it is. Pathogens. Wait, how is it called? Pathogens glands. Yeah, right. 
and the fourth base on the way. Very interesting choice to get it there instead of here, but well, yeah. Fourth base on the way for Relet. It looks like both players are going for the macro game. Very macro oriented. And yeah, we will see. We will see. There is only one thing I can try after that game, which is free more capacity. I will try it. If if not, I can't change it. I'm sorry. I don't have it in my hands currently. I'm really sorry. So the investors are on the way. Hive is finishing up, so we will soon see. Oh, I do like the spore cross. We will soon see either a spore, uh, a spine. Ah, there's the ultralist cavern. I mean the ooh. I meant the spire or the ultralisk cavern, but it is ultralisk, of course, because it fits so well. And for Raylight, that means he needs to either go for ghosts ASAP, or he needs to go for um, ghosts or liberators. I I think this tank is quite trapped. Okay, he's finally getting mech upgrades as well, so vehicle attack. He could also go for Banshee. Speed Banshees are amazing against Ultralisk. The problem is you need to dodge the fungal growth. And that's the big issue with going for Speed Banshees. Speed Banshees are awesome against Ultralisk, Ravager. They are really, really good. But you need to dodge the Infestors or EMP them. So you can roam free with the Banshees. But I will, I will see how this... How Raylight's... Oh, big engagement! Ooh, I do like the concave he's setting up, but he needs to be very careful not to overstepping. He might lose the banshee suit. That's so close. <coughs> he also needs to make sure that he fights in the range of this of his tanks. He only got two medivacs, four medivacs, but two with his army. There are the other two just joining right now. And oh, he's striking right now when the tanks are sieging. Very good fungus. Not so good uh, corrosive files, and it looks like it's not enough here for Black. He needs to back off, but soon the Ultralist will be on the field. And the bio, super low, no medivacs left. This Banji, oh, Black needs detection, very good fungal. And, hmm. Oh, he could have taken out the Queen and the Ravager here. But he's backing off, which is fine. He lost that fight afterwards. And now it's getting difficult. Ultralisa on, uh, on the field. And Raylight is still only going for bio and tanks. And he needs somehow to counter the Ultralist. Because they have now 6 armor. Plus 2 armor will finish soon, so they will have plus 7 armor. And... Yeah, Marines. <laughs> they won't deal any damage on Marauders as well. They are not that good. Oh, the Infestor seeking for the... Oh! That's nice. So he will be... Oh, yeah, nice boost away. Picking off. Get an Infestor there and the Ravager. Very nice done. And yeah, dropping again there. As oh, the Banshee. I do like that move. But carefully, the Sporkle. Oh, nice. As long as Raylight can keep Black in his base, at his side of the map, to be more precise, he's fine. But as soon as Black reaches a certain point where he's like, I should probably move my army and attack, then it's getting dicey and difficult for Raylight. Because there's nothing he can do to counter currently the Ultralisk. Unless he steps off creep and kites like a madman. But it's it's difficult with the infestor and the uh, uh, fungal growth. That's very difficult. And Raylight isn't maxed either, so uh, he needs more income, more production. That's a problem. He's only on five barracks, while you would love to be on eight already. So he somehow miss. Yeah, he he missed that. He missed to set up more production facilities. Which is biting him back in the butt now. But taking out those queens definitely helpful. Carefully there. Oh, he might lose all those tanks. No, don't attack the rock tower. Why would you do that? 
Oh, that's not looking good. Amazing fungal growth and... Oh, black is just rolling through here. So you can kite against Altralis and it works with good focus fire, but... It's just not enough. Ooh, corrosive piles. Carefully there, don't corrosive pile your own army. But the difference in the supplies are... Ah, they are telling the story of this game. Oh, Marines, run! So the Marines are not as fast as the Ultralis without Stim. With Stim they are a bit faster, I would say, but... Ah, the Planetary, your last hope. Amazing fungus! Ooh, Corrosive Bion, your own Ultralis, you don't want to do that. You need to repair ASAP the Planetary, there you go. Maybe... No, I don't think... I don't think Raylight can hold this. Or oh, can he? It's so close. The planetary falls and with that it's looking very grim here for Raylight. I think Black got this. I really do think Black got this. There's a small drop over here but the Ultralisk is taking care of that already. And I do like this move again as well. Going for the other planetary. Shutting down any income left for Raylight. And yeah, with that there's not much left. The natural almost mined out. The third base not looking healthy. The supply in favor of black as well. I, I'm not quite sure here. He might catch this chunk of army, which is nice, but... There's so much more back at home for black that... I feel like, yeah, look at that. I, I feel like... That's, that it doesn't make any difference here for Raylight. He's trying his best with the tank pickup, but there, there's no way you can retreat. Floating barracks, they are not helping whatsoever. Oh, killing two medivacs with that corrosive pile. <coughs> Here we go, GG. Black wins. Okay. So I will now... I will now shortly check if I can do anything about the internet connection. I hope so. So let me, g give me two minutes shortly and I will check. I'm really sorry. I didn't think that today, because sometimes the internet is very fine and on other days it's just eh, really garbage. So let me have a speed test shortly to see if it's really the internet or not currently and if so maybe I can do one more thing but I will try it so the ping is already uh, yeah the internet is quite shitty only 6000 instead of 30,000 I will be AFK for two minutes and then we will see okay okay and I will turn on the Twitch chat again so I will be able to see it and communicate with you all and then we will see. So yeah that's that's just not good. Okay, see you soon, two minutes.
Okay, so there isn't much I can do about the lag. I'm really sorry. We only got very bad internet here. And I think I will change back again to this. Hello. I'm back. Okay. Good. So let's see, did you apply it? Stream is lagging. Oh yeah, it is lagging. Da -dum -da -dum. Okay, so I wasn't able to change much, I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. That sounds very confusing. Okay. It looks like we are playing on Arena, which is a good map, I think. And, well, yeah. Okay. Archer server and cast. Well, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I really, uh, that's such a difficult decision. I wanted to upload it on YouTube after that. If I, hmm. if I now cast together with Hopeless, which would be really nice, I, I can't really upload it anymore. Okay, you know what's happening right now? I will shut down the stream right now. I will do that. And then I will just record for myself, for YouTube. 
while I'm casting with Hopeless. I, I think that's the best solution. So you can enjoy lag-free stream, and I can later on still upload it on YouTube. So you better move to Hopeless stream. Um, I will links. And then we should be fine. Okay, see you on Hopeless Stream. Bye, thank you for watching. See you soon.